Hey guys, it's Ayan. Today we're doing Twilight Arbor Path 3. Enjoy watching! Before she was driven away, Duchess Fowlin of the Nightmare Court nurtured a terrible tree into existence. Whomever possesses it will have their darkest desires granted. As I speak, three Nightmare Courtiers are seeking it out. Laurent, the Count of Blood, will use the Nightmare Tree to wage war on all of Tyria. Vavina, the Countess of Obedience, will use the tree to force us all to worship her without choice or question. And Fiona, the Countess of Spiders, it's too horrible to even speak of her schemes. She must be stopped. Two Valiants are already battling those courtiers, but we need more to defeat them. Okay. Find me, but we were separated. The scouts found some of her. They believe the hounds got to her. Down, go boom. Yay, unidentified die. You gonna give it to Dello? No way. No way. Okay, same thing as before. Um, we're gonna go ahead and kill all of the smaller worms. I'll mark them uh, for kill order and then kill the larger worm. You have to do single target? Yeah, single target. You stay out of the red circles. Okay, focus fire the boss. JJ, you didn't die this time. Yeah, the daggers, man. They butchered him. I didn't die either. Your death will not be in vain. Congrats to everyone. Yeah, my daggers do more damage than the staff, but I have to get in super, super close. Path three is forward. Yeah, board up is path three. Okay, same thing here. We're just gonna go ahead and run into the room, run to the left. Well, it doesn't matter left or right, but kill three, move to the next side, and then done. Single target again. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can use AOE if you really want. These guys aren't really that bad. They're kind of a joke for a mid-section boss. <laughs> it's funny when they get electrocuted. Yeah. I 
have other things to say, you're gonna have to edit too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There are two paths. Which one shall I open? Oh, Ian, you're gonna love this path. The bees. I will. Yeah. Mindless entourage. Okay, let me pull the mods back to us. We can do it without hitting the boss. Okay, they fixed it. Can't do it without hitting the boss. You focus on the ads first? Yeah, DPS the ads, kill the ads first, and then we'll get the boss. The boss isn't really too bad. He just kind of sits there and does... I don't know what he does. He just looks angry. Looks all angry. this boss do? Yeah, I really don't know what this boss actually does other than tries to beat you. He just beats you up? Yeah, you just kind of DPS him. He's not really... kind of a joke. I mean, as you can even see under his name tag, he doesn't even have any abilities that he does. Yeah. Big kill coming up, man. He probably gets picked on in the dungeon, dungeon boss meetings. Right. Doesn't even have a description. Make sure you're oh, constantly goodness. moving if you have that debuff on you. It's a little green something or other. That's the, that would probably be the hardest part of this fight. You get that debuff on you, you gotta watch that. You'll have like little gnats flying around like Rushul has right now. You just gotta dodge roll and it knocks it off you. Okay, here is the hard part. Okay, stop right here on me. 
Okay, now you guys see what's going to end up happening is all those little water geysers are going to pop up. There are killer bees in there. When they mean killer bees, they will one-shot you. At the fountain there you go, and you push F on it, and it makes you invisible. If that water hits you, it knocks away the invisible Getting goo healthy. or sap. Okay, and then the bees will immediately attract you. Technically, you could run through it, but it's easier just to do it with uh, the goo. Uh, so, I, if you want to stay on me. You guys can go slow, it doesn't have to go fast. Just apply the sap. Okay. Okay, those little white markers come up. It will show you that one's going to come up. Stay on the green areas and you should be fine. And there goes JJ. Oh, uh, JJ, you killed me. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. I was on the green part and it just came after me for no reason. Oh, I'm dead. Try not to get close to the white circles. I think their AoE effect is a little bit larger than what it seems. Okay, yeah, it's off. You're good. No, there's no switch. Everyone thinks there is. It's just a point that you get to. I appreciate the help. Thanks. Just run through? Yeah, we can, you can run through now. You gotta show me where to run to turn these things off. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but I'll show you basically where. There's dogs chasing me, I'm just running around. Okay, I believe it's right about this point right here where it shuts off. So you just need one person to get here. Yes, as long as one person gets to this point, it will shut off. I mean, I make it safe usually if I, when I usually make it. And I run all the way up to where Keg is right now. I was just up there having a sandwich, but you guys can make it. Okay. Okay, don't don't aggro the boss yet. Okay, so there's quite a few strategies that people try to do in this boss fight. Uh, let's explain the boss first. Now, the boss is a Mesmer boss. She does uh, Chaos Storm, and it hurts. She applies a lot of confusion on. Um, if you have a Necro in the group, make sure the Necro is putting Weld Corruption on. Um, also, if you want to do Weld Power, that's also a bo uh, bonus added effect. In case you do get stuff, we could strip it off of us. Um, on my Necro, I don't usually run that. Um, but well, Corruption is a must. When she gets boons on her, uh, we want to strip them off and make them into conditions. Uh, if you have Mesmer's in, Mesmer's in, you throw Null Field down on her. The less boons she has, the better. Okay, now the boss fight will start off with Laurent talking to her. And then she will try to kill Laurent. Now, Laurent is a guardian. Uh, one of the tactics is to try to keep him alive as long as possible. Uh, keep hills on him. So, water fields, uh, blasting water fields while on him. Uh, as long as he's alive, he will hold Vivina for as long as possible, which gives us a reprieve on conditions uh, that she puts on us. Um, first and foremost, we got to make sure we kill the two adds. And I will try my darndest to keep uh, 
uh, Laurent alive when we go into this fight. Uh, she will teleport around just like a Mesmer. Um, so just avoid her uh, chaos storms and we should be fine. Uh, it's a lot easier said than done. Um, just every time you know, every time you see her get a bunch of uh, boons, bow on her if it's up. Such might. Oh, she already killed Laurent because Keg started it. Thanks, Keg. Oh, you win Ignore the boss for now. Ah. Oh, he's peeing. When she pops back up, drop the well corruption on her. Eight seconds. Oops, dropped that one.
Okay. All it's going to do is just like we did in path two, skip, uh, jump down, skip, and don't edit this part out. Okay, this is a mini boss up here. Kill the marked one first. Okay, this tree is just like all the others, but it plays out a little bit differently. What we're going to do is, after we activate this, there's going to be a bunch of spiders. Okay, we're going to pull all the spiders back to where we are now. We're going to DPS them down. Um, once we get the front area cleaned out, uh, please watch all your AoEs try to use single target attacks. Um, unfortunately, Keg, you're kind of limited on that. You want to stay back. Try not to aggro a bunch of spiders. Um, if we do pull back, kill the spiders, go back to the tree. When he does shake his back, he does cause eruptions to happen. Watch the ground. Always dodge backwards. Um, don't place marks. And then other than that, it's, it's just like every other tree. You just got to stand back. Or it's like the first tree we did where we stand in one spot. So, oh, my children, there it is. Now, don't worry about your mother. I won't be different, just stronger. Fiona, Countess of Spiders, stand away from the tree. I cannot let you claim Fowlin's prize. But my children sing to me. Listen. They sing dark, delicious notes about power and family. As their mother, I have to grant them their wish. <laughs> Poison spit, so... Make sure you watch that if your group has reflex or feedback. Make sure you place those on the little spiders. That's what he does right there. That puts a weakness on you. A vulnerability, I should say. If you get hit by that, that will spawn spiders. Again, one of the tricks is, so long as someone's on the boss, he won't reset. Walk back to the waypoint. And you could rest, or heal all the way up. Oh, you can use marks here. Just don't use it on the boss after we get these fighters cleared out. Watch the boss real quick, make sure we dodge it. Dodge back.
dodge back. There you go. We don't get extra spiders that way. Okay, clear these spiders out. And we can start on the boss. Dodge. Okay, start on the boss. Dodge. If you don't have range, we're gonna get spiders every once in a while, kill spiders first. Dodge back. Dodge back. Watch yourself, Keg. Dodge. JJ, watch it. The tree seems to be healing. That's because no one's on him. Should one of us stay on him? JJ, fall back, please, to the waypoint. Switch your weapon out to a staff. Get ready to dodge. Switch to staff, JJ? Yeah. JJ, whatever you do, I want you to stay on that tree. Don't go away over there. Don't go over there, JJ. Just stand right here. Dodge.
Gotta make sure you get the dodges down. Dodge. There we go. Just keep the spires off me. Dodge. Everyone else attack that. JJ stand the tree. Dodge. Watch your AOEs. Dodge. I need cover. Kill the spiders. JJ send the tree. JJ stepped behind the field. I can go ahead and step up there with uh, JJ and start shooting that tree. Stay behind my field. Dodge. Dodge. Perfect. Go ahead. Hit me. I need an antidote. Dodge. Oh, 
Oh, JJ, don't summon those. Dodge. There we go, guys. Yay. Okay, run back, run back to the waypoint, run back to the waypoint.